Yes, entertainment. Hello, this is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment, and welcome to the fourth season and third episode of Simba NYC TV. Besides this being our fourth season, this month of July is also the one year anniversary of Simba NYC TV. And I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate our one year anniversary than taking a stroll down memory lane. Now, this episode of Simba NYC TV, it's sponsored by Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce. We have had three seasons with great artists, video, and great content. I urge you to check, check us out in your spare time. And you know what, the great thing about this is that it is archived on YouTube. Go back, go back and take a look. We have been so fortunate to have been recognized and honored by Brick Media in the category of Best Entertainment, Be Harmonious Award. What a, what a tremendous honor for us. As always, I ask that you don't forget to like, to share, to comment, to subscribe. On this show, we have had so many fun guests and fun moments. I would really like to highlight all of our guests, but you know, we don't have the time. So I am going to highlight a few guests and a few fun moments. I think there's no better way to start than from the beginning, our pilot. Season one, episode one, with artist Mr. Liji. Check out our furniture. <laughs> ah, look at where we came from. I know you're wondering, what is Simba NYC TV? Simba NYC TV is going to be dealing with everything under the sun. There is nothing off limits at Simba. But our main focus is going to be on the entertainment, the arts, music. When we get back, we are going to have our first guest on our first episode of Simba NYC TV. I am so excited. The opportunity to tell them who is Mr. Liji. Well, first I would like to say that Mr. Liji is versatility with flavor. You know, I deal with all different kinds of music, different genres that it, you know, uh, once it's soul music, music that you could feel in your soul, you know. Um, again, you know, I was born on the island of Trinidad and Tobago, came here at a young age, grew up here in Brooklyn, in the melting pot of all the different cultures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was exposed to a wide variety of music. You know, I love music, like soul music, you know, music you could feel, whether it's R&B, hip hop, reggae, you know, even some soca songs that's full of soul, you know, of bebop, the blues, you know, I just love music, period. You know, I express it however I feel it, you know. That's what Mr. Liji is, and you could also check me out too at MrLiji.com. Got all my links, IG, Twitter, Facebook, video, and the video is fire, so check it out. Can I bust tonight? <laughs> This one is dedicated to Mary from it's Warner. The way I hold you. Nature's it's lane, the way I hold you. Yeah, it's not the way too I loose, you. not too tight. Got to be I right before you, you decide to light. Love it in a chalice and we love it in a pipe. It's when we get together, I can I bust tonight? She give me a kiss. It went straight to my head And since that day we do it like brand new weds Mary from Tawana says she loving up the dread No matter all the rumor in farmer them spread Keep
keeping it together like a butter and a bread The best relationship the dapper ever had It light like a feather but it heavy like a lead If it wasn't for her love I coulda end up dead Or end up most wanted by the feds She come the situation make me keep a level ahead When things get red and could turn to bloodshed She's got enough reasons lying from A to Z Good kind of loving and I don't need a bed Rather to be kissing in the parking cell Good brain food, I mean the best head Listen to the words from the dread Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you Next, I had a great time with Be Official A dope Brooklyn rapper Season 1, episode 3 Check out my rapping skills I had to bring it Hey, he didn't know I was from Brooklyn Check this out I'm about to challenge him. Now, none of you didn't know. You didn't know I had skills. But um, I'm about to show about who I really am. This no, is Shelly S. Down this is not no just Shelly S. Entertainment. No. This is Shelly S. Listen, Shelly. I don't back down for no challenge, man. It's on. Let's get it. What you got for me? Well, you know, I wrote this kind of like, I wrote this on the way here. Oh, shit. That's how, that's how. Holy shit. Shut That's how on. mean I am. I didn't write it like last night oh, or the night. Right, right. I wrote Smile it on head. the way here. All right. Let me see what you got. Let okay. So I hear they call you Bada of Symbolic. Uh. No fear. Because I'm just as prolific. The words roll off my tongue with simplicity. The words, they have veracity. Mm. I'm sharper than a two-edged sword. Not even Webster could be on board. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Webster could be on board. All right, my turn, board of my yeah, it's turn. your turn. All right, let me see. Shelly says she do it so prolific. She coming at Bada to be specific, but I got fires like volcanoes in the Pacific. You know how many less rank I left shank, smoked the best dang, got guns from the West Bank. I sold you like I'm in the corpse. Turn you into a corpse, eat your remain like a dinner corpse. Fit to see the gold rings and things they want to have in the course. I've been a boss. Try to stick across, I'm licking off you with suffer living laws. If you crawl either way, it'd be a bit of loss. I don't know why Shelly want to see. <laughs> she want to get in the belly of the beast. Yeah, hold on, 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 I think you got me on that one. You might have got me. You might have got me. All right, so I'm not going to quit this job. I want you to introduce the video. Tell them a little bit about that video. All right, this first video is Danger. Be official myself, the one and only. Scarry Gang International. This is a video I did with the homies. Mm. It's called Danger. Danger. Uh, caution. Scarry Gang. Do not cross. Stay clear. Dangerous. Stay back. I'm not one for fun to play. Some are say I'm as hot as a summer day. My favorite gun of K, I never slung a straight. You see me coming, you wanna get done and then run away. I pop my enemies like vitamins, that's one a day. Brooklyn fine is rap. Russ, you will find a G shine, so refine the vet. Eat them little shits like kibbles and bits. But I ain't start dining yet. I'm a grind and sweat till a whole entourage rolling large and diamond sets. Move a uniform, you been warned, get your mind correct. Go and get your nine barrette, but some kind of sketch. Even though that won't prevent you from getting your line in wet. I stay high at the sky and fly till it's time to jet. Bed style green beret and some lime barrettes. Had some other niggas come and snatch you up for my respect. Little midgets with biscuits, all for diamond wet. When it's time to wreck, they guesstimate the price and I sign a check. The world's most dangerous gang, and the world's most dangerous man. Be official, man. The world's most. Next on my list is one of my highlights Carnival in Brooklyn. We had such a great time, season one, episode 12, at the Rattles Pan Yard. It was fun, and they actually won. Check it out. And I'm here with the founder of Rados, Junior Man Samuels. Welcome to Rados Yard.
one episode 13, more pan. We couldn't get enough of the pan. So we went to the Panorama Championship. Hi, this is Shelly S. And I am outside at the Brooklyn Museum. This is where the Panorama Championship takes place. We are fire. It's like blaze, we blazing. <laughs> And did you hear the response from the crowd? It was really favorable. That's what I'm talking about, though, you know? Season two, episode two, with Dr. Stephen Orsa, a 27-year-old, get this, 27-year-old black scientist, a Harvard grad who is currently at MIT. Hey, let's check him out. In my uh, travels, I've met singers, I've met uh, basketball players, but I'll be honest, I've never met a scientist, a black scientist. And I dare you to tell me that you have. So I want to introduce my Simba NYC TV viewers to Dr. Stephen Olson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, as Jack said, my name is, is Stephen, and uh, I currently work as a researcher at MIT. Um, a little bit of how I got to get to that place uh, very quickly. My parents are from Trinidad, so I grew up there, but I was born in Brooklyn actually. I um, spent some time in the Caribbean, moved up here. And one of the things they always sort of instilled in me was the value of education, not necessarily um, you know, as, a, as an end, but as a means to an end. Um, and so, I always, so I have this saying, I, I write about it in like, you know, on my applications when I was applying to medical school and stuff, which is that I was born a scientist. Um, and what I mean by that is, and in a, in a sense, we all are. If you look at children, young children, I, I have a daughter. I'm married. I have two children. My daughter, she's now two. And if you look at a two-year-old, even younger, and how they behave, how they interact with the world, they're always very inquisitive about wanting to know how things work. Mm -hmm. What are things they touch, they feel, they experiment. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's not necessarily in a formal sense or in an academic sense, but we all have this desire to want to understand the world. Mm -hmm. And in our season two, episode three, we had John Duck Fuller, a prison coach. I have to admit that was quite an emotional moment for me. As, uh, as a mother, this shows that you did not micromanage your children. You educated your children to the best of your ability and you gave them the free will. But that moment should not define your boys for the rest of their life. And if that moment does not define your children, then you've done well as a mother. Because all children make mistakes. Some are big, some are small. But the best of parents watch their children fall, watch their children get up, and then they will see that life has not defined the child by the mistake. I hope you enjoyed the clip of John Doc Fuller. Please watch this entire episode. It offers so much to our young black men. But before we move on, we are going to have a few words from our sponsor. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Eels! Tasty pepper sauce make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at 
Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Now in season two, episode nine, we had our youngest guest, six-year-old Zara G, who interviewed me and put me in the hot seat. Watch this. Okay, how did it start when you be became a host? Well, um, I actually did a little video, just a walk on in a video. Yes. And um, the producer Simba saw me doing the walk on and thought I took direction really well and um, asked me to come and audition. So I went. I didn't think I'd get the job because I, I didn't think. I don't know, maybe I just was feeling not great about myself. That Probably day. a little, like, nervous. A little kind. nervous. So I thought I did my best. And then uh, he called and said, I have the job. So we shot this pilot to see if really I was good with the uh, artist. Yeah. And then, uh, then I officially got the job. And this is how I became the host of Simba NYC TV. Season 2, episode 13, we had another young artist, 18-year-old Sudan, a Nigerian artist, a rising star. Check her out. So, you've got all these influences. Yes. How would you describe your sound, your, your music? My music basically, it just fused with so many different elements. I don't want to give myself one title because I'm into so many different things. Like. I like so many sounds, you know. My music is basically free, free. If, I, if I can use that word. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Thank you. It's free, meaning there's no 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 limits. Yeah, there's no boundaries. Yeah. Nothing. There's nothing. There's no border. Yeah. It ju it just goes. It's just going because I'm still gonna evolve, and yes. tomorrow I might wanna do something else, you know. Yes. So. Yeah, you're 18. You have time to go. <laughs> you have time to, to just be free. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the video for the song, Moving Body. Sudan and the Ha! Oh, I would it be it. An all-white production. Ain't it a time to your day? We having fun like a holiday. Why you always for your bimpe? Show my pay, no delay. Nine to five day by day. We having fun like a holiday. Why you always for your bimpe? Show my pay, no delay. Say I they bring it, they bring it. Bring out the hand on my day, my day. Let's get to moving by day. Say I they bring it, they bring it. Bring out the hand on my day. Money na money we spend all that. We spend all that. Money na money we spend never. Mmm, we spend never. Make you no use me they joke oh. My money they run like it broke oh. I pay to see that to the look oh. I no be my moon no be fool oh. Mmm, follow me. See them, see them, say they follow me. They want to take it for sure. They want to know my life story. They follow me, they want to take it for tour They want to know my life story Yeah, they break it, they break, they break Break out their hand on my day, day Let's get to move by day, day Say, yeah, they break it, they break, they break Break out their hand on my day, day Let's get to move by day, day Baby, yeah, they're yeah, 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 like, until me now Go no, pull your speakers, now you know it Can see the girl is falling now We got money, so make me spend it in season three, episode four, the highlight for me was Nigerian Afrobeat artist Oba Okiki. I want you to listen to the message in his music. I want to talk about Swipe Up. <sighs> what, what inspired you to write that song? Uh, I did Swipe Up for the streets. I did Swipe Up for all the young people getting money out there. You know, it's not necessarily. Hustle, it's a hustle song for those out yes. there, you know, trying to make it out of the game, you know? I'll be honest, initially, yeah. I didn't get it. You didn't get this no, vibe song? I didn't get it. And then uh, my son made me get the song. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? This is what the song is about? Yes, yeah, so it yeah. was, uh, because at that time and the moment, it was like a lot of kids just... Yeah. They were into the swiping thing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it was like, all right, 
how can I reach these people and you know, how can I talk to them? Sorry, I'm gonna say it's empty, sorry, punch it. KFG, look at you, keep back home, no, they go. Tell her don't swipe no more. A lot buying you, the damn doo doo. Swap it, keep swiping, drop. Oh, that pile of my boy, shy you. Swap it, keep swiping, drop. Baba, do boo, I be gift too. Swap it, keep swiping, drop. Swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it, keep swiping, drop. 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 Swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it, keep swiping, drop. Swap it, keep swiping, drop. Yeah, swap it, keep swiping, drop. I want it 25 kini won't load your BT Oh, with that pile out of my boy, shine on beat You call out t-shirt dating, how I long gon' be I ride a long study, cook with shiny Man, we headed to the money like screw Looking at a broke motherfucker like, huh? Shooting out the car, all your hair and ass, whoop I pop up out of die, I will learn the ass shot I did while I lie, that's the slang that we say Nobody want in the club, KMT, that's the gang Cause I keep cushion with her and triple K She like I, she like I, oh yeah, show me the money Stop, I keep swiping, drop Shout him up, bitch, I'm fire, love Ooh, stop, I keep swiping, drop And season three, episode six, it was a joy for me I joined the Bruce Hill Lawless family I became a family member It was one of my fun moments Check it out for yourself Lead my guns of jail. Hey. Hear me from afar. Oh, yeah. 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 People losing the faith. Don't know what to do again. No value for life. These here are the times. Old folks talk about when evil running broad. It's time to shut it down, to shut it down And if we come together And band we belly as one We could ignite the fire strong enough to burn out Babylon If we come together And stand in the name of good Maybe we don't have to fear walking wrong But we all neighborhood, eh hey, I'm not begging back for the old time days, eh hey, I'm just asking all you to change them ways Some of the top artists in the soccer industry. And 
I'm standing here with Denise Belfon. I mean, we've been following you since Kakalele. <laughs> 22 years now, that, that to be exact. <laughs> 22 years in the business yes. and still always a high energy performance. Thank you so much. <laughs> We, I enjoy watching you. Thank you. Now today is Mother's Day, so what we're going to do is we're going to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, all the mothers who are mothers and fathers, all the fathers who are mothers and fathers. Happy Mother's Day. I'm standing here with the man himself, Orlando Octe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We're talking darky. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. you back. Yeah, I'm taking you back. We're talking beautiful. Oh my. I'm taking you back. We're talking go down low. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking you back. Yeah. And now we have the hit single. 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 A long journey. You know, but um, we st we stayed focused and keep working on the craft, and you know, in God's time. NYC TV, keep it locked and loaded. Peter Ram from Permit. Peter Ram is on the panel, don't change the channel. You know what I'm saying, Peter Ram. supposed to be in this interview well, you're just in you just <laughs> and I'm standing here with farmer nappy welcome thank you very much thank you very much welcome to New York City thank you very much and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm here in New York but it's a different show it's not a party you know up close and personal it's Mother's Day happy Mother's Day to <laughs> so many great reggae artists it, it's been hard to choose but you know I enjoyed the sound of the Grenadian reggae artist Mighty Flex and that was season 3 episode 11 check him out yes welcome to Simba NYC TV oh, thank you very much so what I'm going to do now is I just want you to introduce yourself tell my viewers a little bit about your background yeah well this is Mighty Flex Reggae artist from Grenada, from a small village, Davi. Well, my music really is just, as I'll tell anybody, love and fire. So you're going to get straight love and fire from Mike to Flex. We like that. Love and fire. So, you know what, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a look at the video. Want it.
-hmm. And then we'll be right back with more Mighty Flex. Stay tuned. To see if you can do something about that. What about the gets of people? Hungry too. Now get some people that must suffocate. Babylon has smothered them. Both people that must suffocate. Babylon has smothered them. Get some people want it. Clothes and food and everything. Now get some people grand. Do you also can you don't say we want? Better living. Poor people want it. Clothes and food and You want to hide something from a Negro, put it in a book. Welcome to Book Talk. Today's book is titled, Ready for Revolution, The Life and Struggles of Stokely Carmichael. This is an astonishing personal and political autobiography of Stokely Carmichael, also known as Kwame Ture. He was Trinidadian born and became a prominent figure in the civil rights and the global pan-African movement. He actually coined the term black power. Please read this book. It goes beyond an autobiography and into the personal struggle of us, of our black history. And the name of the book again is Ready for the Revolution, The Life and Struggles of Stokely Carmichael. Honestly, this is a must read. And I'll see you again next week on Book Talk. 
You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. It's time for Health Corner. Figuring out the best foods to eat when you have been diagnosed with diabetes is one of the toughest things. The best foods for diabetics are whole foods that are not processed along with vegetables and fruits. I can't give you everything, but here are some of the foods that are recommended for diabetes, both type one and type two. Fatty fish, salmon, leafy greens, such as spinach, kale, broccoli, fruits. You can eat fruits such as apple, strawberries, blueberries, and even with spices, they also benefit. Uh, which is cinnamon and turmeric, eggs, and always try and cook with extra virgin olive oil. That is the choice of cooking oil. And as a diabetic, what's most important is eating to manage your blood sugar. See you next week on Health Corner. And be well. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner each other they're whining like 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 if they like if they like if they haven't like they're doing something Deborah don't start a makeup thing in your head and just mash up your, your good good living with the man don't make it a big deal I'm telling you it's just a whine you know this song is just a whine he didn't even call me this morning I wonder if he, he didn't call and he's called on mornings. I don't know what to do. Deborah, look at the time. Yourself. The man probably still sleeping. He went fat. He's still sleeping. And he played, he inviting me if I want to come. And you know, he knew I was going to say no because I work a double. I don't know what's going on. Deborah, just relax yourself. So you think I should ask him? Of course you should ask him. That the first thing I'll do is call him and ask him, of course. And then you'll find out it's not a big deal. Deborah, don't make a big deal about nothing. You ain't see what's going on? Check it out for a second now. Charmaine sent you that to make confusion and strife in your house. You ain't see what's going on? Read between the lines now. It all over the IG and it all over Facebook. Everybody's seeing it. Girl, it's not a big deal. Deborah dies breathing. I might even take a wine on Gabby. Don't make a big deal about nothing, girl. <laughs> Everything good in your house. I hope you're right, girl. I hope you're right. Because the wedding's supposed to be soon, you know. I hope you're right, girl. Talk to him. And if he answer you off key, then you know something wrong and I'll call you back later don't worry about nothing just call the man and talk to him thanks Patel, thanks alright then Debra we'll catch up later I've been meaning to call Debra today she's been especially on my mind Oh. 
Glow. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Mommy. Deborah, I woke up this morning with you on my mind. So I thought I'd just give you a call. Okay. You know, Deborah, it seems like you've been avoiding me after our last conversation. I know it didn't go as you wanted it to go. Um, you know, I always speak my mind. Well, I mean, I'm just a little busy. There's so many things that I'm trying to take care of. Lately, every time I call you, you seem to be very busy. Deborah, we used to talk almost every other day. Is everything okay? Everything is fine, Mommy. I'm just a bit busy. Deborah, you could never be too busy to talk to your parents. Now, what's happening? Like I said, everything is fine. I'm just a bit busy, that's all. And so how is, uh, how is Garvey? Can I just call you back? I'm, I'm in the middle of something here. I, I'm, I, I'll just call you back. Oh no, Deborah, not again. For the minute I mentioned Garvey, no, no Deborah, not again. I'm just a little busy, I promise. I will call you back later on. Okay, Deborah, have it your way. Okay, bye. Bye. Seen on Sanchi phone, but hmm. look at me. I don't really want to be talking to him, you know. Not tonight. Him again? What are you calling me for? Why you ain't calling woman and winding up on Instagram? What are you calling me for? Well, that's strange. The Brazil girl is normally answer she phone right to when I call and she after like the second or the third ring. Call she? When did the call she? I know, I'm trying. she <sighs> answer? That real strange. Like something wrong with this man. Why he keep calling me? Why he wasn't calling me the night he was out in the, in, under the trees? starting to piss me off you know what do you think he could say to me what do you think he could really tell me I 
von einem Text, aber zwar bei das Band von Einzelnen. Hallo? Warten Sie, Baby! You know how long I trying to call you? What going on with you see what happened? You busy or what? No, I'm not busy. What going on with you see what happened? Where is my scene? The question is where is your scene? What? What do you mean where is my scene? I mean mean talk to my baby who all day. I call to talk to my woman. Wow. Listen, today on Instagram, it have you and a woman winding up in under the trees. You ain't checking Instagram? What? Listen, you are starting today on Instagram. You ain't check your, pit, your Facebook? Check my Instagram? Check my Instagram for what? Davi, I see you. Everybody on Facebook, on Instagram, see you. You're starring on Instagram today. You are wine a boy on Instagram. Wine a boy? What, what, what are you talking about? You know what? Since you're playing, you ain't see it. I gotta send it to you. Yeah, it's you. Wait, on wait. Instagram, winding up on a woman and under the trees. Now we don't act like you don't know. Yes, under the trees. Look, I don't have no time for all this long talk. You didn't, you, you, you see it? See, see what, baby? What are you talking about? You see, right now, I already talked to you. I had a long conversation with you. I tell you, see, this kind of thing I'm not going to put up with. What is it? Listen. You know what? I was really concerned about this happening, and I warn you. I warn you, Gabby, that I'm not going to be playing this nonsense. I play no games. Debra, what is he talking about, baby? What, what kind of trouble is this I see here, boy? What kind of madness is this? Gabby, everybody watching Instagram, people calling me, look Gabby, look Gabby, look at, look at Gabby. Man, you trying to play me. You trying to play me here, man. You, you can't be serious. Right now, you see me? I need a break from all this madness. Debra, Debra dry so? What is going on? What is he talking about? Let me go. Let me go and see where is this thing, yes? Why? I'm going to send it to you. Watch it. And when you finish, stop calling me. Call your woman. Let your woman fix you up. Let your woman handle your business. Stop calling me. You hear me? I have a send it to you now. This is she hung up on me, boy. He asked me to check this chip. What is this? I didn't mean nothing by this boy. That is what I asked you. I said, wait till the taping this for. Wait till you're doing baby. Ah, boy. I don't know this is nothing serious. It's a freaking wine, but.
Yo, Flip, man, my bad, son. Yo, check this out, my man. Let me make a phone call, all right? Don't worry about that. Let me make a phone call, and I just might be able to get that to you still. You heard? All right. Cold coffee. That's my dude. I know he's definitely gonna be able to take care of that for me. Yeah. This Nicholas Golev Law ain't no way I'm calling. Hello? Yo, what's good, my dude? How you there? How you there? Who's he vibe? Yo, yo, so how's everything, man? How them things going? Yeah, everything good, man. You know, everything cool. You know, people getting to know and let's slow mo, but everything good. What you seen? Yo, I need you to do me a favor, son. Yeah, where's that? Yo. You know that studio on North Shining Empire? It's on the top floor, right on the corner. No, you know that, that studio up there. But yo, I know it's part of this. I know to reach there. I know it's part of the Empire. I know Shining. So, wait till they want me to do. Yo, Flip, the owner, that's my man. I normally go see him like every week, make sure everything is all right with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But right now I'm out of town. So I need you to go see him for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's stay loud up in that studio. So you're going to feel right at home. Plus, you know, you into this music business. You know what I'm saying? Flip is the type of dude you need to connect with. Because he stay producing, making beats, and all that good stuff. So, you know, go check him for me. And, uh, you know, once I get back, you know, we square up. Feel me? Okay. So, I don't know, see, man. I can do that for that, no problem. Okay, cool. You know, I'm going to let him know that you're coming through. Alright? Yo, but tell me though, everything good though? Yeah, 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 everything cool, everything cool, you know? Everything cool. I hold it on strong. Huh? Yeah, understand? So, yo, be safe out there, yo. You know what I mean? And I will talk to you when you come back in, but we'll go and deal with that fail. Alright, come on. You know, I can't believe it's been a year. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. You know, we don't have enough time to feature all of the artists, but you can check out seasons one, two, three, and four on YouTube. Again, it's there in your spare time. Take a moment and just check us out. I want to say a special thank you to my producer, Simba, to our crew, our intern, and of course you. This show could not be possible without you, the viewer. Again, thank you so much. And please continue to like, to comment, to share and subscribe. Thank you again. Jai's life, love, and it's all we need. See you next week. And this episode of Simba and My TV was brought to you by Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything.
For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Show with Chubby S Entertainment. <laughs>